All right, I'm gonna be doing this side now. We're gonna be cutting the ridge on this side. I'm gonna take a marker just to maybe y'all can see a little bit better. Is that visible from where y'all are at? Should I get closer? I guess I don't need to be asking because by the time y'all answer, the video will be done. Let's get a little closer here. Okay. I'm gonna go through the steps of setting up the ridge reamer. This is a ridge reamer. Bore the ridge, we talked about the ridge. It has a lip up there because the ring does not go all the way up to the top. It stops and goes back down. The reason is the ring is not at the top of the piston and the piston doesn't always go up to top dead center anyway. It goes up to top dead center, but it's not gonna be a zero deck. All that, you know, ask me some questions. If you, know what, if you don't know what zero deck means, Okay, redundancy, 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 but I'll keep going, and a lot of people do like that, and let's see if I can't just go ahead, you're not here to see my face, there we go, there we go, ridge reamer has threads, as you turn it, this moves up, I want to bring it all the way down, there's a slot right here, that's for your finger, isn't that cool, back in the day, Stuff was made that was really easy, cheesy. Also, tip that my uncle always said is we want this top part of the ridge reamer right there where the wrench goes, the top part, not the top of the bolt, the top of the aluminum, even with the block. You'll see, and you'll have to adapt either higher or lower depending on your particular engine and how high the ridge goes. So that's just common sense, but you don't know so if you don't know, putting it up here flush is good. This one up here is what loosens it. You can move it up and down. We want this flush. There we are. Tighten it. This one here, it's what moves it in or out. What I do, this one here, it's what adjusts the blade in or out. So this one moves the tool in or out, that moves the blade. I put the blade all the way in, loosen this up, and slide it out till it touches, and then just back it off a little bit. Might as well just do it so that you can see what I'm talking about. You see how that moves? My blade is all the way in right now. I move this till it touches, and I back it off just a hair, and then I tighten it. Set it, and forget it. It's there, see how it spins without doing anything? We're flush here. I'm going to take this, I'm going to loosen my cutter up. It's spring-loaded, so now this is loose, but there's tension on the blade. Attention, everybody, attention. All right. I use a ratchet up here, and instead of doing a ratchet motion, I like to just spin it all the way around. Sorry for the hand. If we get nice and quiet and we listen, that blade is just sliding on the cylinder, but not cutting anything. It hadn't done anything in the cylinder. I don't want to cut the cylinder. I want to cut the ridge. Now listen. You hear that? There we go. Can you see? You might not be able to see what I'm talking about. I'll do another one closer. I want to see the blade just come up above the deck. If I keep going out, the blade is just going to come out and start turning and just start really cutting the bore out on the top where you don't need to cut that bore out on the top. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. That's it. Bring the cutter in. Screw it back down. Stop it, people. Stop it. I have to go and put it all the way down and loosen it one. Reach my finger in there where the little spot is for your finger. And we're done. I'm going to actually get you closer here because I think you want to be a little closer for the next one, I think. And you're going, but you just moved it back. No, I'm moving it closer. 
let's go ahead and get you down in here because you don't need to see me you need to see this i'm thinking is that better for i heard some of y'all going i wish it was closer i heard y'all good chance a good time to talk about leave me a comment leave me a like give the brother some love sure tell everybody you know to as many people that watch the videos it's like you could subscribe anyway anyway i'm not going there i think i just did go there didn't i here i am talking too much all right you see that i talked right through it Easy cheesy. This is set from the last one. Set it and I heard y'all. Forget it. This here, when I'm talking about the top flush, how close can I get? I'm talking about just the top of this. Not the top of the bolt, but the top of this piece right here. And it doesn't matter. Whatever you use, once you cut one, you're going to... Hey, easy. Easy now. You're going to know what I'm talking about. So... A little flush, it doesn't matter if it's a little higher or a little lower. Like I said, sometimes I need to lower it because it has a, you know, further down the ridge, the piston. Uh, Chrysler's don't come up in the hole very far. They're 70 thousands down. It's a different animal. Lower your tool. Um, we don't need to go there. Anyway, it's in place. That's how easy it is. Take my cutter and go ahead and expand the cutter out. Like I said, I like to go in a circular motion and don't do this. It just chatters around the, the bit. I don't need it to chatter everything. But you do what you want to do. All right. You hear that? See how it's changed? And can you see? I really want you to in here. I want you in here. I really want you in here. There. My hand's going to be in the way, but... We're cutting. Once I see it come all the way up, and the blade is just now coming up to the top, we're done. If you keep going, it's going to keep cutting. But as it's coming out of the bore, it's going to start doing this. The blade's on, and it's going to just totally round off that. And uh, don't, trust me, you don't want that. You might as well have left it alone. You might as well lift it up. All right. What are we going to do? We're going to bring that back down. This is old. Look at that. It's older than I am. I've had it since I was a kid. There's a slot for your finger. Grab it. Move it to the next cylinder. Set your height. You turn this. It expands the fingers. Just like the Iskandarian tool did. Cutter, bring it out. You can see here, see that, the shiny? I just cut the ridge. I didn't cut the bore at all. The bore is untouched. I don't know how much closer we can get, but I think you, you're asking for close, closerness, right? Some of y'all are asking for closer. I hear you, there you go. Here we go. See, I've just cut the ridge. The bore hasn't been touched at all. So the blade is just, it's flat, it lays right up against it, and it doesn't do anything. As it's coming up, it gets underneath that ridge, it just cuts it off. Let's go over here and see if I can't. I got two more cylinders to try to get y'all a little bit of insight of what's going on. Okay. Tool, expand, it's out, done. My hand's in the way, but. It's just the way it is. Huh? I might have to do something happen here. What happened? What happened? Ah, it's a scratch in that cylinder. The ring has left a cylinder scratch in it, and my tool caught it, and I just didn't like it. I saw felt it. Alright. There is a little scratch going up the bore at one time. Something got in the cylinder and scratched it. Seems to be okay. It's going to be fine. But it did catch it. And that was enough for me to stop and go, Hey, I feel something really weird. That's not normal. Okay, here we go. You hear it?
and we are going to hone the cylinder. That's why I wanted to cut the ridge first. What you're hearing is that clunk, clunk. All right. I don't know if you can see the cutter. It's just now above the deck slightly. If I keep coming out, it's just going to keep bellowing out. And we don't want to bellow anything out. Beat us. All right, we got one more to go. I think this is a better view. Hopefully it's focused in right. Sometimes it just doesn't want to focus in right or I get its own way. Can you see that? Can you see what I'm talking about? There you go. See, I didn't cut anything on the bore. That's where the, where the, where the piston rides and the rings ride. And they stop right there. That's what it leaves that ridge. It never, the ring never rides up here. So it just wears from here down. So since it does that, it leaves a lip right there. And now we're going to put a new set of rings in it. That new set of rings can hit that lip and actually hammer out the top ring land on the piston. And we don't want to do that. All right, let's do one more. And then we'll call it a day. It's a simple project, but I, or a simple procedure. I just didn't know if, you know. Do y'all know what ridge rimming is? How to cut the ridge? What that's all about? Um, so that's kind of what I'm... I'm all here for that. Because you may not know, you may have not seen this, you may not know what I'm talking about. I may not know what I'm talking about. For some reason this is not going back in. I don't know what happened. All right, there we go. Okay, here we go. And there's a cutter I'm talking about. You see how it moves? So once we come out, if we keep doing it, it's going to just start going like that and cutting the top a lot more. So basically that blade we want to ride up against the cylinder, but not cut the cylinder. So there we are. It's in it's tight. Let's bring our cutter out. Cutter is out. Now we can't move it. It changes. If you listen to it, if I get quiet, all that is right there is the blade going around the cylinder, not doing anything. If you notice, we haven't cut anything on the cylinder at all. There we go. You hear that? And you can actually see it now. All right. What we're going to do, we're going to bring the cutter in. Turn that down. The next time I use it, it's just not sitting all the way up. It doesn't need to be. Mm -hmm. That's what those little slots are there for, is for your fingers. This is made to be used. It's made awesome. Your finger goes right there. And that's what that's for. You line those two up. Finger goes there. Goes in. Tighten. Pop. Cut. Done. Pull it out. It's just real simple. It's simple. If you've seen somebody use it, if you've never seen anybody use it, it might not be so simple. Beep. All right, now you've seen me do it. Mm, I don't know about all that. Let's get back further. Oh, let's get too close. Let's get down here with y'all. All right, so now you've seen me cut the ridge. And now, if nothing else, you know what cutting the ridge is all about. You've heard people talk about it. You read it on forums. But you maybe never seen somebody cut it. You may have seen one of these in dad's or grandpa's toolbox, your uncle's toolbox, at a swap meet. Pick it up. Pick it up. If nothing else, send me a link. I need a new one of these anyway. This is old. I've had this since my uncle's day, since I was a kid. So, um, there's different versions of a ridge reamer. 
all good ones. I grew up with this version right here. I bought this one off of eBay. Old tools, the place to go is eBay. You heard it here first. Um, and we don't need to go there because if we go there, you go there, we all go there, then we're all gonna be fighting for the same part. I'm just playing around. Go there, find you these tools. Old tools is the best place. I would rather have an older uh, tool than this stuff that's being made nowadays that's not gonna last. This is worn out. I've had this since I was a kid, literally since I was about 18 years old. Uh, back in the day, we used to cut ridge all the time. Now we very rarely do. We bore it, hone it, it's out the door. This is a restoration. We're gonna put a nice hone on it, put a nice fresh set of rings on it, and it's a restored motor with very low miles Ford FE Thunderbird, and there's a reason for it, and that there's a reason why we're gonna just cut the ridge, because it doesn't need to be bored. It's gonna be perfectly fine, it's gonna hold a set of rings, and it's gonna, probably gonna last another 100,000 miles. Um, it doesn't even have that many miles on it now. It's a low mileage engine but it did have a ridge and we get rid of the ridge before we do a hone. Now it's gonna go into the hone, that machine right there, and we're gonna hone it, we're gonna, we're gonna wash it, and we're gonna put it together. All right, so it's the end of the day, and as I can tell, because my hair started to move around at the end of the day, I'm gonna go home, we're gonna finish up, I'm gonna wash up, go home, finish up, editing this video, because I haven't got any videos out there in a while. I have a bunch of them, y'all been asking for them. Anything you wanna see, anything that I may have touched base on, I'm sorry, I don't talk slow enough. Um, I wish there was a button you could just slow down and slow me down a little bit. I will try to do that next time. As for me, I'm getting back to work and we'll see you on the next one.